Well, a number of things are happening uh, in the peace situation in the Middle East, and all of them spell uh, bad news for Israel. And here's the biggest news of all. It says the European Union's Foreign Affairs Council is expected to adopt a resolution that will back the French peace initiative on Monday, Hiretz reported Saturday night. The resolution will call for an international peace conference, including Israeli and Palestinian participant or participation, before the end of the year, according to the newspaper. Senior foreign ministry officials said on Saturday night that Israel failed to block the move by the panel of the uh, EU's 28 foreign ministers, which will add significant weight to the French proposal. Israel can now only try to soften the wording of the resolution, they said, according to Haaretz. Well, this is certainly bad news for Israel because now with the, all 28 members of the uh, European Union backing this French initiative, what would have started out being just the, the French uh, recognizing Palestine as a state, now it turns into all 28 uh, nations in the bloc uh, who will eventually, as a bloc, uh, recognize Palestine as a state. And, and I have to believe that the United States can't be too far behind in uh, uh, putting their weight behind uh, a vote as well. And this leads me to believe that uh, between now and the time Mr. Obama leaves, that uh, uh, the United States will do something, uh, either withholding a veto or whatever the case may be, come, uh, like I said, the latter part of his uh, term as a president. We're going on with the article. It says, Paris is pressing EU foreign policy chief Frederica Mo uh, Mogherini and European foreign ministers to endorse the resolution on Monday, which would fully harness the entire EU to its plan, according to the report. Well, now with this news and... Uh, Looking at what the possible direction of this uh, peace proposal could be, Zionist Union MK Zippy Livni is now calling for a refer refer uh, referendum uh, to uh, see if Israel is going in the two-state direction. And the article says Zionist Union MK Zippy Livni called for a national referendum Saturday afternoon to determine the progression of the Arab-Israeli conflict a problem looming over the state for, of Israel for nearly 50 years. We need to know in which direction we're going, uh, two countries or one, Libby said. Without solving this problem, Israel will not be able to uh, uh, re redeem itself as a Jewish or a democratic nation. Israel needs a referendum now to determine which direction it uh, was heading, and uh, Libby argued. The uh, decision of whether to work towards a two-state solution or towards a single United Nations should be a national one in order to take back our democratic Jewish Israel. Due to Netanyahu's lack of action, Israel is stuck in a daydream, a daydream uh, moving aimlessly, uh, Libby said. She also said a referendum would uh, determine whether Israel would move back in a Jewish democratic direction or down the uh, Jewish non-democratic direction it is currently headed on. There is a regional window of opportunity to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, Libby said, but the glass ceiling is rising and Netanyahu isn't able to uh, rise up and seize the opportunity. Well, I have a feeling that that uh, direction will be determined by the European Union and the United States in the near future, whether Mr. Netanyahu has that direction or not. It should also be noted that in an in a, uh, article by Israeli uh, National News, it says, PA discusses maritime borders for future state with Egypt. Another unilateral move, PA UN uh, envoy says, talks have begun with Egypt on setting out of uh, the maritime borders for a future state. So the handwriting is on the wall. I have to believe that we're not too far away from this two-state solution being forced upon Israel. And especially if they set up this referendum in Israel that a two-state solution is the best route to go and that's the, the route that they should pursue. I have a feeling that Israel is going to have to come to some kind of uh, understanding with the international community. If not, I look for uh, the European Union as a whole to recognize Palestine as a state with the United States falling uh, not too far behind and also a veto that Israel would normally um, count on will not be there. And whether that be with uh, Mr. Uh, Trump or with Mrs. Clinton in the White House, I have to believe that 
we are looking at a possibility of a near two-state solution. And yes, this will be a uh, peace with many, because I believe that the uh, Arab world will abandon the Saudi initiative and uh, latch on to the Paris initiative. Because truthfully speaking, I think that they will be one, and they'll be pretty close to the same. But that's what's going on in the Middle East, and I do believe that we're looking uh, at something of this nature ballooning in the very near future. And if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. 150,000 people die every single day. The Bible says that the vast majority of them will end up in a burning hell. You need to come to the Lord today. Ask Him to come into your heart and save you, uh, to forgive you of your sins, and live from Him from this day forward. And as many of you know, I'm put, I have a project going with my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. I'm trying to get it to the point to where half the world's population will be able to read my Tribulation Period Survival Guide for free. So I'm working toward uh, uh, securing paid translators to translate it in various languages. Right now we're looking at probably Russian, uh, Arabic, French, and possibly a few other languages. And if you would like to get involved in trying to support this uh, endeavor, this project, uh, just go to PayPal, put in my uh, email account number, which is calvarysp at calvaryprophecy.com, and, and enclose the amount, and then send it on to me, and I will uh, look uh, to apply that uh, figure to what, whatever has been raised so far. And certainly, if you have lost loved ones and you know they're going to be left behind, possibly, you need to get them a copy of my, my free Tribulation Period Survival Guide. It's totally downloadable, and uh, if you'd rather have the paperback version of this book, then uh, go down to the description in this video, and it'll give you a link to either or. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.